case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2004, a lawsuit was launched against the United States in the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit, known as Kyler v. United States. The core of the case revolved around whether there exists a duty to rescue people from harm caused by third parties and to what extent. The tragic chain of events was set in motion when medical personnel at Great Lakes Naval Hospital in Illinois failed to report a suspected child abuse case involving a babysitter named Higgs. Later, plaintiff Kyler unknowingly hired Higgs, leading to the awful death of her child. Holding the medical personnel accountable for their negligence in reporting the abuse, Kyler took legal action. In the initial ruling, the district court found in favor of Kyler, awarding her $4 million. The court acknowledged that the medical personnel had indeed violated the Abused and Neglected Child Reporting Act of Illinois, highlighting an egregious failure in their responsibility to protect the vulnerable. However, this judgment led to the United States appealing the decision. They disputed the blame attributed to the medical personnel, arguing that the government should not be held liable for the torts of its employees, especially in such indirect circumstances. In a turn of events, the appeals court overturned the lower court's decision. Central to their ruling was the principle that while there generally exists a duty of care to avoid causing harm to others, there typically is no corresponding duty to protect individuals from harm caused by third parties. Consequently, they determined that despite the previous negligence, the medical personnel did not owe specific protective duties to Kyler's child. As such, they could not be held responsible for the child's demise at the hands of the abusive babysitter, leading to the dismissal of Kyler's lawsuit. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.